Okay, let's take a quick look at how to use an Ubuntu phone. The four edges of the screen do different things. We'll do those one at a time. So the left side, you scroll on from the left, you'll get your main menu. And this is everything that you've opened or things that you've pinned at the side as a handy shortcut. So you can move these, you can scroll up and down on this just to have a look through things that you've got recently opened. Uh, you can also either add and remove things to this menu. So say for example you wanted rid of maps. You can hold down on it, tells you it's here maps and you can unpin it. So it takes it off. If I wanted to add it back again, then I can open the maps. It will then reappear in my menu up here at the top now. Hold down on it and I can pin it. So it's back again. If I wanted to move it, I can just hold on it and then drag it up and down the list to put it in place. That's your kind of like a home button. Uh, that will always take you back to the today scope, which is this one here. We'll come to the scopes in a minute, but that's the left side. Okay, the right side of the screen is kind of like a task manager idea. So this will show you applications that you've recently opened. And you can pick the option and it'll take you to that uh, application. What you can do is a kind of like a short swipe and it'll bring in the previous one and it lets you kind of quickly skip between two. So you can kind of go like this, just keep flicking between the two or you can bring it in fully and go back, choose a different one. So that's the right side. Top of the screen is your usual kind of notification area, which you can pull down and then you can either press each of the options to go through them, or as you're pulling down, you can move to the side and you can kind of flick through them that way. Another way of doing it is to actually press on the icon so for example the GPS there and it'll take me straight to the location or for say wireless it'll take me straight to that one. Anything like emails, messages they'll appear up here so that you can quickly pull down and you'll see them listed here. So that's the top of the screen. The bottom of the screen changes depending on the application but most applications have got a little tab at the bottom which you can then pull up and it will give you options for that application that you're in. So at the moment we're on this today screen. This is a scope and there's various different scopes and in this screen here uh, I've got about half a dozen scopes here and you can change those, move them around. So we'll have a look at scopes next. Scopes is pretty much what you're looking at most of the time here. And this is a today scope, as it tells you here, and it's got various things on the screen there that you can see. At the top you'll see there's a search, settings, and there's pretty much a kind of hide and unhide button. So if I go for settings, this shows you the various different things that you can activate or deactivate on that particular today screen. Not every scope will have settings, but the ones that do will have things like this you can activate and deactivate. So if I wanted to, say I wanted to hide the today scope, I could just press the star, that'll hide it, and I can unhide it again later. So, well, I'll show you. If I press that, it'll hide the today scope and it's now onto the apps scope. So I'm one less here because I've hidden it. If I pull up on the tab, this gonna this lets me manage the scopes that I've got, which is the apps one you see there. If I scroll down, if 
with the list of all the scopes that you can get. I'll come back to them in a minute. Uh, you see the today scope. If I press the star and scroll up, it'll reappear on the list of scopes here. It's at the bottom this time, so if I press it, it'll take me to today's screen. If I go back and I hold it here, I can now drag here and rearrange them. So I can rearrange today one, put it back at the top, come out of manage, and go back to the scope screen here, and go back to the scopes, scroll back to the start, just to show you, and the today is back again. So at the moment I've got today, the apps, nearby, and then I've got a couple of news ones. This particular phone, the Meizu one, you can double tap the little glowing circle thing and it takes you back to the today screen. So that's the beginning of the scopes. Okay, scopes again. As I say, you've got the tab at the bottom, you can pull up and this is just to kind of give you a quick look at what scopes are here. You've got some that are enabled at the start and then there's a whole bunch of scopes that you can install for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. So there's a fair few that you can install or you have installed but you can always go to apps and then scroll down through your apps and you can get the Ubuntu store and the Ubuntu store is where you would install more applications and scopes. Just quickly going back to scopes again. Uh, you get the today one and you'll have your apps but you also have handy ones like nearby and you can change for this nearby one you've got options for it but you can also change your idea so how do you feel? I'm bored, hungry, thirsty, that kind of thing. And it will update with things in your area. So in this case, I'm hungry, so it's giving me places where I can buy stuff to eat and drink and tell me where the nearest ATMs are. And the other scopes I've put, just a couple of news ones, BBC News, that kind of thing. But as I say, you can scroll up and you can put your Facebook in there, Twitter, you can put YouTube, uh, loads of other video stuff. So as I say, it's a way of kind of getting quick access to news and helpful stuff. To change any settings, you bring in your side menu and find your icon with the cogs. That will then take you to system settings and system settings is, as you would imagine, lets you change your Wi-Fi, mobile, Bluetooth, that kind of thing. Languages, sound is things like your ringtones, uh, message tones. Background lets you change the background that will appear on your lock screen. Accounts is things like Google, Ubuntu One, then it would be like Facebook, Twitter, various other things. And your notifications would be which applications are allowed to give you notifications. So if you don't want email applications, you could turn off Gmail, in my case, or Telegram. Uh, battery gives you a quick indication of your battery, how long it's been on. Then a bit of information on how to reduce your battery use. Um, I leave Bluetooth off most of the time. Uh, brightness, you can adjust it automatically or manually. Phone is just telling you, you know, you can adjust your call forward and wait and that kind of thing. I never use them. And you can turn on and off the di uh, dial pad tones. Date and time, security and privacy. People are always asking about these things. So you can lock the phone, which means you leave it sitting for a couple of minutes and your lock screen comes up and it will require a passcode or whatever you've chosen. Stats in the welcome screen is 
the dial, which I'll show you in a minute. And you can search location access, diagnostics, that kind of thing. And finally, the last one's updates. And this will check for updates. None. About this phone, I think I've showed this before. This is your whole idea of how much storage, operating system, blah, blah, blah. And again, you can check for updates for the actual operating system in there. And that's a reset phone, and I don't want to do that. So showed under your system settings, you have the accounts button. And I've got two accounts here in. You can add accounts. And this is just to show that there's quite a few that you can add. Evernote, SoundCloud, Flickr, Facebook, Ubuntu One, which is nothing to do with the old Ubuntu One storage. That Ubuntu One is required so that you can have uh, notifications and that kind of thing. Then there's Twitter, Fitbit, Instagram, Vimeo, and at the bottom, Google. So you can easily add any of those. If you have it enabled, the lock screen idea is similar to most other phones, that when your phone goes off, when you switch it back on, then you've got a lock screen. And if you try and put in the wrong numbers, it won't let you in. You can still make your emergency calls, but the other thing with the lock screen is that it gives you some information here that I've taken two photos today and that's where this circle here is quite small but there's a circle there that's for those two photos or represents those two photos that I've taken you can double tap it and it will change telegram messages sent today 2 messages received 21 one text message so you can go through and quickly look at those. That'll tell you basic information of your phone usage, if you like, for that day. And pretty much you've got one dot for every day. And no, I'm not going to show you my unlock code.